So I'm thinking about that part, which is just stupid. But when you just look at it the way you break it down, you're right. We aren't fighting for our relationships. <laughs> you got a point. And I think that a lot of women are willing to walk away. And, you know, because of based on too many women are following Tia can Mori. I, can Tia I ask Mori, as far as an example of how it is that they need to do in a relationship, they will rather look at Tia Mori and follow her example than unfortunately, because I am not a Cardi fan at all. But unfortunately, they're not looking at Cardi as far as whether or not you should fight for your relationship, because that's the most important thing. The person that you lay next to, the person that you have kids with, the person that sleep, you know, that can determine whether or not they pull the plug if anything ever happens to you is the most important financial and family orientated decision that you ever going to make in your entire life. And for people to completely ignore the fact that she's unwilling to let the dude that she rocking with and married go. You know, I think that that's a problem. Um, I have a question since you mentioned um, she fighting for her husband. Do you see other cultures of women fighting over their husband and that's the way that they're showing that? Yep. Or it's just your culture thinking that that's the way of fighting? I think that my culture husband. think that the that letting him go is a norm. And I think that other cultures are more <laughs> willing to endure longer and fight for their families. Yeah, which is I agree with you, but that's not the question. The question is, do you think, <laughs> do you see other cultures fighting that way and showing yes. that that's yeah, the way. I do. I do. Yes. I've I do. Okay. I, I, right, I so. think I see it outside of the outside of the United States more. I think the problem is it's not just black women. I think it's Western culture. Western culture has enabled women to then be able to lean on the federal government, walk away from their relationships, do the things that they, you know, this because you got to remember that feminism wasn't even started by black women. Right. Feminism wasn't a black woman thing. That was a thing that they hitched themselves to in order to make themselves more powerful. Western culture, as far as because even when you're talking about the whole men's movement and MGTOW and all of that, that wasn't a black man thing. That was a white man thing. Asian men are complaining about their women. White men are complaining about their women. They're complaining about Western culture as far as this whole slut walk and everything like that. And the way that they move. And if you look at it, you see these lip injections. You see, you know, women that's moving promiscuous and they moving all of that. That is happening across the board. We only talk about it from a black woman's perspective because those are the type of women that we deal with more often because, you know, those are the ones that we attach to. Those are the ones that we see in real life because, you know, it's proximity. But the reality is that Western culture is trash when it comes to marriage, relationships, and enabling women to walk away from their families. I have a question, too. Go ahead, Amir. Um, wouldn't Beyonce be a better example of this instead of Cardi B? Because Cardi B, isn't she not even black? So why is she like the model of like the black community? I didn't. Is she not black? I she's not. She's, she's Dominican, not. isn't she? She's like some kind of Caribbean. I have she's no idea. Sense. I know. Well, she, whenever the police, whenever the police scanner cut on, cut on, it's gonna say black female. No, and it she's won't. the one who said it, Amira. Like Beyonce didn't say it, so we're just going off of something she said, you know what I'm saying? So I kind of, I can understand what you're saying. So she's not the model. Cause it goes back to what I was saying. Like, you know, forget these freaking rappers, but she's the one who actually got on social media and, and said that. So therefore is a discussion. And yeah, I, I can understand uh, Anton's way of breaking it down because I, j I just didn't see it that way. So I understand. It could be, Mr. Let go. It could be her cultural experiences bring uh, being a factor of why she stayed with him. Does that make sense? So uh, it, a better example would be Beyonce, in my opinion, that she, but that, that kind of like goes to what Saida said, how other cultures are more prone to fight for their relationships other than black women. So Amira and uh, Saida, I, I kind of like understand what y'all are saying. No. Maybe because she's not black is the reason why she's so so uh, headstrong in fighting for her relationship because black women in particular don't do that. So I, I agree with y'all too. Yeah. Well, that's, well, it's like that's Anton. Yeah. Like Anton said, the, it's the Western world, the Western culture. Sorry, Anton. Sorry. No, I was just saying, let's not act like Beyonce ain't fight for, for Jay-Z. Uh, he had to fight against his, well, 
He took licks against uh, from Solange. She sister threatened to leave, and he so, he he said, "I'm a um fix the shit." She threatened to leave. According to what mar- I'm that's here. a marketing opportunity. Okay, so that's all that is. She so we don't know if she fought. I think he fought for his marriage. He I fought for so. her. Well, I think I, I personally think it takes two. I, I don't think it's all in one sided. I, I think we probably be able to see on the outside that maybe he put more energy into it, but it do take two people in a marriage to keep it together. But with the Cardi, with the, according to the topic, I got a different way of breaking it down. Uh, I agree with Cardi fighting for her man. I just don't agree with the analogy of it's like taking money out of her purse. It would have been, uh, it would have been more better. I would have been impressed with Cardi B, and I probably would have been a fan of Cardi B if she had said it would have been like taking the father out of the household instead of taking money out of purse. Fighting for your man, fighting a woman and beating her ass for taking your children's father out of the house, household sounds better than somebody taking money out of your purse. That's you know, the only thing I disagree I agree with that. on that. It doesn't, because most people can't relate. Most people don't give a fuck about the person that they sleep into. They just bouncing on that dick, right? Real talk, people care about their money. <laughs> Don't of all the things, don't touch the money. They will cut your fucking hand off if you steal their money. And so it resonate with more people than somebody giving a fuck about whether or not you taking a father out of the household. Don't nobody care about that. And you gotta look at it. That's why the culture is the way that it is because she resonates with the ratchets who are gonna fight in the street and kill over money instead of build over money. Yeah, so as a rapper, you got to understand she's going to talk and stupid people talk in order to interact with the other stupid people. So she was to say the father out at home and all that type of stuff. It would have sounded a lot better, but it wouldn't have resonated with the stupid people that are actually following her. But wait a minute. Let me back up for a minute. Precious. She specifically mentioned also if he's broke. If he doesn't have money, don't fight for him. So that's also saying that all the regular people out there, not all of you, you know, the people here that are successful, no, all the average people out there are listening to this and they're saying, oh, okay, so those men, nobody deserves to fight for them. It's not just average people listening to her. It's people that's uh, above average that actually listen to these people too. Well, all so, you're doing you is see, hearing- no, Those men don't need to be respected though. No woman, according to what she said, they don't. Women shouldn't be fighting for them. They don't. Okay. They don't. So that's they, not what you see in other cultures. That's what I'm saying. You no, know, in other cultures, that is what you see because... You no, know, in other cultures, if a woman is poor, they, she's going to stay with her man. and She's not looking for a lifestyle. But, but what that's you're ignoring difference. is the, yeah, the point. woman to look at a relationship from a business perspective in the first place, Right. The whole vetting process is to determine whether or not that guy is actually going to be worthy of marriage in the first place, which is one of the reasons why the father gets involved. No father is going to marry off his daughter to a piece of shit. Now, when women have the option to choose for themselves, then you got to deal with whatever it is that you deal with. You pick the, a trash ass nigga, then that's just, yo, that's the lane that you swimming up. But women by nature are, are hypergamous. You want the best available option. And I don't see you. OK, this is easy. Any woman on the panel, I'm curious. How many of you would talk to a guy with no job? 